is bruiseless Stephanie here today. The titties are not out as much as they usually are because I know they're really disgusting and saggy and have been personally affecting a lot of you. <laughs> so I just decided to, you know, just tame them a little bit for today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. If you guys don't know what a Q&A is, it means queefs and assholes. Just kidding. It just, it means questions and answers. Um, but wouldn't that be a cool new series for my channel? So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me whatever questions you may have for me. And you guys asked me a butt ton of questions. What is with the anal theme today? Oh my, there's a I thought I saw a bug. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through these questions and I'm just gonna pick out ones that randomly jump out at me or I feel like haven't been asked a bunch of times because sometimes people do ask the same question over and over again. I'm just like, oh my God, I've answered that like a million times in a million different Q&As. So, stop it. Uh, la 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 la. Vince Lyle 314, what's your opinion on weed? Well, fa fa da, funny that you asked me that. I actually just smoked a little bit of weed a couple minutes ago. So, um, my opinion on this, the my opinion, my opinion on weed is it makes you stupid. It does. That's why you have to just do it in moderation. But then there's some people who can smoke weed and are really, really smart because I went on a date with a guy once who smoked weed like every single day, all day, and he was like a brain surgeon. Like, not saying I'd want him to operate on my brain, but like also good for you. But then like some people smoke weed every single day and they just become a cow. So I guess it really just depends on the person. Um, you know, I do believe that pot at a young age can be a gateway drug, so it's not very good. And uh, I only, uh, oh shit, oh, I just got a really weird question from somebody. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you texting me? Um, whoa, okay, sorry, ex-boyfriend just texted me. Holy shit. Get it together, Stephanie, get it together. Next question is from Iona123333. Hey girl, I love you. I, I like recognize your face and your, and your... You're, yeah, you're just, you're beautiful. I love you. Do you want to be involved in a serious relationship now or in the near future? Do you think you're ready for that? Love you so much. I love you too. I feel like I've been single for two years now and I feel like, yeah, I get, oh. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend just texted me asking if I need some lunch money. That'd be awesome. So I feel like I've been single for two years and I would, I guess, feel like I am ready for a relationship just because of the fact that I've been single for such a long time and like not gonna lie, a lot of girls when they get out of a relationship, the best way to get over that relationship is to get under somebody else. And I did that, but I didn't get into a, a relationship with anybody. And that's kind of good, I guess, because it gave me a lot of time to really learn about myself and like experience the feeling of like being on my own. And it's a great feeling to know that you can be on your own and you can survive and not be depressed because you're lonely because just because you're alone doesn't mean that you're lonely and uh, now I guess I would be open to a relationship it would just have to really be worth my time because my past relationships have all been disastrous and have wasted years of my fucking life so I would need to make sure that the next thing that I jump into is not gonna be something that is gonna like end up sucking and then when I'm 30 I'm gonna be like do I ever learn? Next question is from Marion Stevens. What are you thinking about right now? Pizza. Haley's what? Where's your favorite place to eat in New York City? So I've only been here for like two and a half weeks, so I don't really have that many favorite places yet. But so far, I really like Ruby Rosa Pizza in Soho. I also really like this uh, this restaurant called Yuva. It's on the Upper East Side. I've been there like three or four times already. Damn. Next question is from Olivia Hope. Weirdest thing you find about the British. I don't really think the British are really that weird. I think it's weird that people always say that British people have bad teeth, but like I don't think I've ever met one British person with bad teeth. So like what the fuck? Brandon Dawson 1998, who runs Frank's Twitter account. I seriously think you do. Like I'm not even joking. I really think it's you. And for the longest time I wondered who it was uh, because I don't run Frank's Twitter account. If you guys don't know, it's I'll leave like the link for it right here. Uh, but yeah, like someone made a Frank Twitter account like a couple months ago and I just like, I never questioned it. I never messaged the person. I was never like, who are you? Like I always just kind of like accepted that someone made Frank a Twitter account and I thought it was awesome because like now I go out and I could tweet my dog and like yeah it's not my dog but I like to have the illusion that it is my dog because then I like don't feel so bad when I like go out and I could be like yo Frank are you okay and then Frank tweets me and he's like stop being a fucking hoe and going on a million dates and I'm just like shit 
exists. Maybe tweeting my dog wasn't such a good idea. Jazz Miniature, who's the weirdest person you've ever dated? I love your channel, thank you. Uh, the weirdest person I ever dated was definitely this one guy who had a weird fetish. It was kind of like a daddy fetish, and he always wanted me to call him daddy, and he basically, like, he called me... He called me his daughter, which like when he did, that that's when things started getting weird. I was like, do you actually like want me to be your daughter? Cause like you put your penis inside of me. Next question is from Ava Team Gaines. Would you ever consider dating women? So uh, I have been meaning to make a video about this. I just don't know when or, or if I'm ready, but I am currently doing live shows on an LGBT live streaming app and I talk about my sexuality on there. So if you guys are interested, uh, make sure to download the Radar.TV app and add me. This is my username and I do live shows on there like every single day almost, at least for like an hour just to like catch up with you guys or like show you around New York City. So definitely go down that, bleh, download that and check me out on there. And you know, I'll talk more about that kind of stuff there. Next question is from Natasha Brahim. Would you pee on someone for money? I think the better question would be how much money would you need to be paid in order to pee on someone? Because there, I think there is a price for everybody and for everything. $5,000. I would pee on someone for $5,000. Next question is from Mickey Esla. I just don't enjoy your videos like I used to. Feels like everything is not real and is a need for attention maybe, but I don't know really what it is that's changed. Are you aware your videos themselves have changed or do you know what it is exactly? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm always changing as a person while, you know, like mental state, geographical state. Maybe I have changed. Uh, I can't help it. All I know is that I'm happy. So if anything, that's a good thing. Like if I changed and I was miserable and depressed, then like that would be a bad thing. But like people are saying I'm changing, but I'm like really fucking happy. So I don't see the problem. If you have a problem with it though, then I guess, I don't know, either accept it and just watch my videos or just, you know, be like, fuck you, bitch, bye. Unsubscribe, bye. You don't need to tell me about it in the comment section though. I mean, I get it. Like some people really just want it to be known that they unsubscribe from my channel. And thank you so much for letting me know. I will send you a goodbye fucking gift basket next week. Bye. Next question is from Von Paldanius. Besides dick pics, do you ever get or have you ever gotten clit pics? Actually, funny story. There is this one girl, she doesn't send me clit pics, but there's this one girl on my Snapchat. She sends me pictures of her tits and like, I kind of enjoy them. <laughs> and I'm just like, kind of like, I think you watched the wrong video. Like I specifically asked for dick pics, but damn girl, you got a nice pair of titties. Um, I don't think I've seen any clip pics I, I mean um but yeah it's quite it's quite interesting okay so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video frank has made an appearance finally i feel like he'll have been in a video in like forever but anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit the thumbs up if you support my channel and subscribe if you haven't already because it'll notify you every time i upload a new video and just do it just click on the freaking pizza okay um and yeah i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye <laughs>